Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what's inside of this old can opener. All the screws in the back of the thing have a star screwdriver bit that I'll be using for this. Let's see what it says. It's made in the USA. It's got a cord storage compartment. going to show all the tags in the back of it. There, it's got its own serial number. So, let's get started. Okay, and it appears that I have to take off some of the mechanics on the front of it, possibly. Nope, I don't. So this just slips out of here. And that's what you got on the inside. This here is the knife sharpener. You see it's attached to the same motor. So when you push down, the knife sharpener would spin. You can see the knife sharpener's obviously been used. You can see there's a lot of crud in there from people sharpening knives over the years, whoever owned this thing. And you can see the motor in there goes to a plastic gear. Then it goes on to this metal gear, which turns the front. Well, wow, that's, that's kind of hard to move with my finger. It's really stiff, but if you do it this way, the gears really help. So that motor must be running really fast for this thing to work. And there's the switch on the inside. So, I'm going to plug this thing in and operate it, taking it apart so you can see. Okay, I just went ahead and plugged it in. So, wow, that sounds totally different without the housing. So today the main reason why I think why I actually took this apart is because I've been noticing in some of my videos the first can it has trouble starting up. So today I'm going to be cleaning out the inside all this crud from the knife sharpener and I'm going to be oiling the gears up a little bit just to make sure this thing continues to work properly for years to come. So I have a damp cloth that I'm going to be cleaning up all the crud on the inside. I just unplugged it because there's a possibility of an electrical shock if you're touching that motor while it's plugged in to make sure I clean up all this soot on the inside from the sharpener. I think that's kind of dumb when you sharpen a knife. It doesn't have a compartment that collects all this stuff. It just comes right on in here with the motor. That's kind of a flaw in its design. I'm not looking to get it super clean. I'm just looking to get the dust out of here because this is the major problem. Look at all that dust in that part. Whole bunch of it. The bottom section doesn't really matter.
No, I'm just gonna pull this cord out of here. I'm just gonna wash this in the sink. Okay, I'm back and I just cleaned it up in the sink best I could with some soap and water. Now I'm gonna get back over to the motor. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the thing back in so I can start applying some oil to it. I'm gonna be using this kind of oil today. It's for gears, just like I'm using, using it for. So here's what I'm gonna do on the inside of this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on the gears and let it run around. Spreading all that oil around. That's as much as it needs. I'm not gonna add any more. Just that little bit of oil should improve the performance of the machine by a lot. And it's certainly gonna change the sound of the machine. It's running like that. You hear how it's running? It's because it's this kind of motor is not meant to run in that position. But let's see if we stain it back up. Now, what is that squeaking? That's new. Hmm. I'm gonna let this run for a little while. That should go away. Yep, you see it already went away. It's because you're not supposed to operate a, a motor in a position it's not meant to be. See, the sound's gone now. It's, it's, it's because it's, it's an awkward way to run it. But you see, it's now nice and oiled. I just got that drip up. I'm gonna put the thing back together and it'll be good as new now. not to over tighten them because the thing is made out of plastic. There we go. It's all back together, right? Not quite. It didn't go back together correctly, did it? Huh. What I do wrong there? Something wrong there. What I do? Okay, this took me a minute to figure out exactly what I did wrong. N now you see those screws from the back. It goes through there into this plastic, then into the front. What I did was I tightened it just in this plastic, and it wasn't yet reaching this part in, in here. So now, while holding the front, I will tighten it through the entire thing, and that should go into place. Yep. See? No gap that time and it's tightened. That was a simple mistake of mine since I've never taken this thing apart before. That's the last screw here. Okay, that one's all done. So let's plug it back in. See how much different it sounds. Okay, let's see how it sounds on a can of food. That sounds better now, doesn't it? I just opened up a can of evaporated milk. I like drinking that from the can. It's good. Thanks for watching.